and then from this place spread out and take the gospel, the good news of Jesus, to the ends of the earth. I was a few years old my first time I came to camp. My dad was a staff member here and my mom and my little sister and I stayed actually in a tent right under this birch tree here. That was my first uh, time at ABK. I grew up here, I was a camper here, I was a staff member here. When I was a teenager I met this girl here and a few years later we got married here and uh, then the board of directors came to me while I was teaching and asked me if I would consider leaving teaching to be the director here. And so my life has kind of been immersed at Camp Oshmacoon and it's been a place that God has really worked in my life um, as I've grown up. My dad and I, when I was about uh, four or five years old, were up in the old chapel and we were uh, putting away chairs and I noticed on the chapel walls there were these um, gospel verses on signs. And uh, I don't know how old I was, I, I remember I couldn't read though because I asked my dad to read me what the sign said and it was a Bible verse from Romans 6, 23 that said, for the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. And uh, being a young kid, there were two words that jumped out of that verse at me. One was the word uh, gift, because I really liked gifts. Um, and the other was death. And I didn't really know what it was, but it was a scary word to me. Um, and I kind of just put that in the back of my mind. And it was a few weeks later, I think, at, uh, when we were doing family devotions at my home in Hilton Beach on St. Joe Island, that uh, I asked my dad again to explain to me that verse I'd seen. And so he explained it to me. And so uh, as a little boy, um, I decided at that point that I wanted the gift of eternal life and I didn't want uh, the wages of sin. And so I put my faith in the Lord Jesus then. Uh, all as a result of a little verse I saw on a sign in the chapel, the old, old chapel uh, here at Camp Oshpakum. Through the years, um, as I came back as a camper, this was a place where the Lord really uh, spoke to me. There's something about this place where you're out in nature and you're away from all of the distractions there are in life that uh, God can speak pretty clearly. And I was at a youth leadership retreat um, back when we were holding those in the late 80s. And um, we had uh, what we now call yo-yo time where you spend some time with God. And I was at the point in my life where I had um, I'd become really good at playing a game um, and um, doing the church thing and looking really good on the outside, but knowing that um, kind of my mind was corrupt and I wasn't, I wasn't really on the inside living the way I should. It was that week on a yo-yo time when I was up in cabin, um, what we call now cabin eight, it was cabin six at the time, that um, I remember lying on the bunk, it was raining out, so I was inside just spending time with God and I really kind of had a heart-to-heart -heart with God where I said, you know what, if this is real, I want to go in all, all in on this. I, I don't want to play a game. I, I want this to be uh, a passion for me, how I live my life. And so um, even though I had given my heart to the Lord and it wasn't a salvation uh, thing at that point, it was, it was really just a, a recommitting of getting serious with God. And so from that moment on, um, here at camp and, and wherever I've been at school or or, uh, or when I worked in the schools as a teacher, living on Manitoulin, um, living in Hamilton when I lived there, living in North Bay when I lived there, uh, living on St. Joe and, and, and Echo Bay, um, I've tried to follow uh, Jesus. And so um, when I come back here every year, one of the things I love to see is young people who give their heart to the Lord Jesus, who um, come to the point in time where they where they turn to God in repentance and they put their faith in the Lord Jesus because that's my story. That's, that's what happened to me as a result of the ministry of this place. And it's been the greatest decision I've ever made in my life. It's not the easiest decision I've ever made in my life. Um, the Lord takes us sometimes into places um, and into decisions like leaving a career and going into full-time ministry that are not easy decisions to make at the time. Um, and yet He's promised to never leave us or forsake us. And so. Um, this is a place that's meant a lot to me. It's a place I'm passionate about, and it's a place that I love seeing uh, young people uh, put their faith in the Lord Jesus, grow in their faith, and then from this place, spread out and take the gospel, the good news of Jesus, to the ends of the earth. One of my favorite Bible verses is Romans 5, 8, and 9, but God demonstrates his own love for us in this. While we were still sinners, Christ died for us. Much more than having been now justified by his blood, we should be saved from the wrath of God through him and um, the part I love, the thing I love about that verse is the fact that it, it tells us just the extent to which uh, God went to show us his love 
and to uh, justify us, that there's nothing in and of ourselves that, that can justify us, but that God is the one who does the justifying. I was blessed, I grew up in a Christian home. Um, I still had to come to that decision myself, but I grew up in a very different home than my dad did. My dad grew up in a very abusive, alcoholic home, and when he gave his heart to the Lord in the early 70s, uh, everything changed in our whole family. Um, he gave his heart to the Lord, and it wasn't very long after that that my mom gave her heart to the Lord, and my grandma gave her heart to the Lord, and my aunts and uncles gave her heart to the, their hearts to the Lord. My grandpa finally, after we prayed for him for years, gave his heart to the Lord, and uh, so I've just seen the power of, of that redemption, of being justified, of God stepping in and transforming a, an entire wing of the Wendell family tree so that I, as a, as a young lad, grew up in this setting at Camp Oshpakoon where I got to hear about Jesus and uh, really it's been part of my life ever since I grew up um, and I just feel really blessed for that. My name is Brian, this is my story and I give God the glory.